This video will introduce the procedure used to create a bootable USB flash drive to use the Lenovo Think server and diagnostics tool to collect logs. Download the latest LTDS zip package and extract it. Run Rufus with administrator privileges. Click Browse and find the LTDS image from the extracted files. Select it and then click Open. Click Start. A prompt window will be displayed. Click OK to continue. Rufus will begin to process of copying and creating the bootable USB key. When done, it's displayed in the status bar. Click Close. Eject the USB drive and plug it into the target server. Set the BIOS settings as displayed on the prerequisite screen. Save the changes and restart the server. Press F12 to enter the boot menu. Select the USB disk device to be started. The utility will begin loading the main program, and the menu will be displayed when the loading is complete. You can type 1 to run the full functional test and collect system information. This includes an extended memory test and hard drive test. When all the test items are completed, a compressed LDTS log file will be generated into the configured path. If you want to collect system information without a functional test, type 2 to continue. Options 3, 4, and 5 offer individual functional tests. Select the appropriate option to test your hardware. The compressed log files will be generated in the USB key root path when each test item is complete. You can type I to display information about the installed hardware. If you want to exit the utility, Type R to restart the server, or type P to shut down the server. Remove the USB key from the Think server system and plug it into another Windows system. Extract the log files to a local directory. The system information log file should be named according to the following format. Go to the folder, and you can find system-related information stored in TXT files and log files. There are HTML log files in the 1CLI file folder. You can open them one by one or simply open the index.html file to see the logs. For the details of how to read the HTML report, go to this article, How to Read 1CLI HTML Report. The Quick Memory Test Log, Extended Memory Test Log, and HDD Test Log are TXT files. The files contain the result of the test items and a record of the total execution time. 